Hey guys, welcome to Ode Expression. And this video, I'm gonna tell you about my 14 days self quarantines in South Korea. Nope, it's in a dormitory in South Korea. Do I sound creepy now? Before all of that, my name is Java, and I'm currently just moved into South Korea. Uh, for taking my master in business administration at Sungkyunkwan University but before that I have one year Korean language program at Konyang University and all of above under the scholarship program from NIIED National Institute for International Education of uh, Korean Governments called Global Korean Scholarship of you may know as KGSP so without further ado, don't forget to share, likes, and comments, and don't forget to subscribe because I'm gonna be uploading more videos about my experience during my study in Korea, also like how did I get this question and stuff, and many more fun stuff I'm gonna be uploading, so stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe. First of all, I'm gonna talk about the arrival day. Um, upon's my flight, like I have joined many group, like Facebook group, WhatsApp group. They they talk about how 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 I should get the process during this uh, COVID nineteen situation at the airport, like how how the process when we arrive at the airport and stuff. So they they, they kind of told us that it's, it's gonna be very complicated. It's gonna be very a long queue. It's gonna be with so many cultures that we have to pass, and like it's not very easy and stuff. But in fact, fortunately, when I got into Incheon International Airport, it was very very smooth process. Like I only have like only half hour until I actually get out to the airport. So it all started when the these flight attendants gave us four forms. So I filled the forms during like the flight before we, we landed. The forms were basically need to be handed to the staff, like different staff to different counters. Uh, the, the first counter was the counter where we were check our body temperature or any any sign for COVID-19 or things like that. So basically if you pass that, that counter, you just go straight to another counter. But if you didn't pass, if you have like a symptom or symptom like COVID-19 symptom or something like that I think you sh will go to some kind of different line yeah because one of my friends like they, they have some kind of cough or something so they, they go to this different line so uh, if you have those kind of symptoms they basically will do your COVID-19 test there on the airport and after you take your COVID-19 test, they will bring you to a hotel until you have the result for your test. But basically, if you pass that counter, you will get just go straight to another counter. The next counter will be the counter when you need to download this application in your phone. This is like self-tracking application. So the app's called Jaga Ninja Ajuhu. The application basically is to check that you are always in your quarantine areas. And as well as you need to update uh, your your body temperatures, your symptoms and everything twice a day, like 10 in the morning and 4 in the afternoon. And they also will give you alert if there is some kind of uh, some kind of new cases of COVID-19. They also can call you through the apps. They also track your app's location just to make sure that you stay in your quarantine area. So basically that's the next step that you need to know that apps because that's the apps that you need to have for the next two weeks and then after that counter you will just go straight directly to uh, the counter where they check if the apps really works like you need to put your uh, some number your friend's number your maybe your family number or someone in korea for my case uh, i was putting my code university coordinator number so uh, because they want they will make sure if the number is active so they they called the number they actually call the number that like to make sure if it really works so make sure you put uh, an active real number from your for someone you know in korea the next counter was we need to fill another kind of forms 
it's a lot of forms but basically it's all the same question identification and some kind of signature and stuff and after that you will go to the immigration counter actually yeah they do your fingerprints they do your they took your picture and they check your visa and stuff and you just after that just go out and go to the baggage and uh go to the baggage and uh you go to the custom uh and after that you go out the airport and for my case there are staff from university that already are waiting for us there we cannot took the bus to go to our quarantine place but the funny thing is that uh, during our trip to from the airport to the quarantine place which is our dormitory in konyang university we have to wear this kind of covid 19 fashion style i guess yeah it's kind of like all the white plastic bag you need to wear it's kind of kind of fun things to do but it's kind of for our safety as well because yeah it's, it's very strict here in, here in South Korea about this whole COVID-19 thing and stuff it was two or three hours trip by bus from from Incheon to Konyang University but about quarter hour before we arrived in Konyang we, we stopped by a clinic or something so we took our test there our COVID-19 swap test there where they basically like put something inside your nose and your mouth and stuff it's not very very painful as i did before in indonesia but yeah we did the test and after that we we, we directly go to our dormitory and the quarantine officially begins <laughs> is actually i'm doing it in one of the dormitory at konyang university in nonsan it's like near daejeon kind of not that far but it's kind of village uh i'm staying at son hangwa dormitory so what do i have when i arrive in my room first of all they give me this package and this is covid 19 package i guess um, they give me tunnel and 95 masks they give me soaps and stuff white tissues or something it's a travel kit i think it's for bathing and stuff they have like soap toothpaste toothbrush and everything so a lot of information about puppy baking and stuff toilet papers they also give me like so many soap hand sanitizer and stuff and they gave me a lot of orders it's heavy. Just, and of course they give me snacks uh, they said they will uh, subsist the snacks like once a week every day they also give me several pepper bags for the trash put leftover and everything it's because i'm gonna stay here for two weeks and i should keep all the trash inside my room So this is the first day of the quarantines and this morning I've unpacked my things I've tried to put my things on my desk, my cupboard and everything Yeah, just to make everything tidy and Thankfully, I also got the result came out today uh, The result from the COVID-19 test yesterday so Thankfully, all Indonesian are negative, all who tested yesterday are negative so And today I'm gonna do a room tour for you guys and this is how the room is look like uh, well they're actually too bad but for this quarantine purpose we only allowed to stay for one person in a room but it's actually a joint two room joined by this um, shower things so I actually have a roommate but yeah it's technically different room <laughs> so this is my cupboard and uh, food my clothes my jacket and everything this is my bed and this is where I put all of my snacks my food uh, oh my god this is one this is from my good friend and I have a lot of orders here and look at that I have so many Indonesian snack even I have spices and stuff and this one this is the best instant noodle ever because whenever I go and in any country I will try to cook this and people will say that this is one of the best instant noodle ever you should try this and at this side 
it's kind of another my thing my stuff these books I have my ukulele and of the charging cable here I have the medicine the tissues and everything and I have this COVID-19 package and this is my luggage I haven't seen. and look that's the view that I got let's us see Let's move to another part of the room. We have these shower things here when I'm taking a bath. And these are these are all my toiletries. And we have a waterfall here. And then we have this kind of closet here. And this is another room. And here's my roommate. Hi, Patrick. Hi. <laughs> yeah. So that's basically it. This is gonna be my home for two weeks. Wish me a comfy stay. Hi, it's day three and I'm still all alone. And today I'm gonna show you guys what I have for meal uh, during my self quarantines. Uh, well, basically, the staffs will give me the meals, like, like they will put it in front of my door. I will put it there like uh, it's 9 p.m. for breakfast and then 1 p.m. for lunch and 6 p.m. for dinner. And for breakfast I have this today I have this it's it's it says like J6 or something whatever it just means it's vegetarian food because I cannot eat pork basically so yeah just give me vegetarian food it's just safe option so what do i have here is i have sandwiches and then i have some grapes and banana of course and i have like, some cornflakes and they also give me like milk so i can put it on my cornflakes it's cereal things so this is my breakfast it's not bad. It's not bad. Mm. So it's 1 pm and they already handed me my lunch. So what I do I have is I have fries and I have some kind of beef that is not. I mean this is a thing things that it looks like beef but it's not. I've got spring rolls and some veggies and some what is this jackfruit or something and of course kimchi so this is my lunch they also give me this some kind of snack sugar things is it yogurt or something i don't know and they also give me the soup and guess i'm gonna eat it with sambal buru I think it's gonna be very good. Mm. Mm. So it's 7 pm, it's still my third day, and I fell asleep and already got my dinner. Good and appetite, I don't know how to say it in Korea. I don't know. I'm sorry guys, <laughs> I'm gonna eat now. So it's rice, so some uh, fried eggs and this pasta, Blue. and this is the white kimchi, this is the salad things, and I don't know what this is, some kind of made of eggs and veggie I guess. So this is my kind of dinner. Or no. This one like combination from tofu and all the fancy thing. Of course we also have egg on it. It's good. It's good. So have the white kimchi. Mm. Oh, the 
set is like Agio Olio I guess This is one of the most delicious sugar that I've ever tried. Let's see. Mm. This chocolate and everything, it's melted. So that's basically the meals that I have every day, like every single day. Most likely, kind of the same, but again because i cannot eat pork so they give me veggie even the vegetarian food is not that bad i think this is kind of one of the best quarantine that can be yes It's the 17th of August, it's the Independence Day of Indonesia and today is today I'm wearing red, red and white. It's like the full light color of our country. You know like this is my very first time being outside my country during this time around and it's gonna feel weird like knowing that it it's it makes me miss my hometown so much. Like I have family, I have my family there, my friends there, like everything's there. Like you know, like it makes me realize that how much I love Indonesia and then like how much the country is such a beautiful place. And now I'm right here, I'm kind of like struggle, I'm kind of like fighting to have my degree and stuff. I hope what I'm doing right now can make Indonesia proud, can make my parents proud, my family proud, um, my friends proud and Indonesia proud and hopefully I can get back to Indonesia as much as I can. Happy birthday Indonesia. Ta ta ta, setia, tetap sedia, mempertahankan Indonesia. Ta ta ta, setia, tetap sedia, membela negara kita. What happened? If it is a date, what happened on 19 October? 21 and 9 oh my god it gives me goosebumps right now